In this video, I want to show you something incredibly simple. Just two drops of vitamin D added to your breakfast could help cut your proteinuria in half, fast. Today, I'm honestly so excited to share this with you. The Rena Biotech team and I have been working day and night on a new formulation designed specifically to lower protein in the urine, one of the most dangerous markers of kidney decline. Because let's be real for a moment, when proteinuria climbs too high, it means dialysis isn't far away. That's the cold truth. If this number stays out of control, kidney disease keeps progressing and no amount of wishful thinking can stop it. And here's what really frustrates me. Somewhere along the line, the American healthcare system just decided that proteinuria isn't worth paying attention to. Why? Maybe they're too busy figuring out how to bill you for the air you breathe in the waiting room. I see patients every day who have never once been tested for protein in their urine even though they have diabetes or CKD. It's shocking. It's like having a smoke detector in your home but never checking if the batteries work. If you have diabetes but no CKD, you should be tested at least once a year. But if you have both, you need those tests a lot more often. Honestly, based on how things are going, you might as well pitch a tent outside your lab. Anyway, let's shift to what actually matters, solutions. What truly works to bring proteinuria down? For me, there's one remedy that stands above the rest a real heavyweight in kidney health from traditional Chinese medicine, astragalus membranaceus. Here's why I'm so passionate about it. Research has shown that astragalus can dramatically reduce proteinuria. In fact, according to the Cochrane Library, the gold standard in scientific literature, astragalus lowered proteinuria levels in 10 different studies involving 640 people. And that's not all. It's also been shown to improve creatinine levels and overall kidney function in thousands of CKD patients. Astragalus is powerful, no question about it. But here's the catch. Finding a safe, medical-grade astragalus supplement is like finding a doctor who actually looks you in the eye instead of at a computer screen. Contamination is a huge issue in the herbal world. Even trusted brands sneak in cheap fillers like magnesium stearate, or worse, polyphosphates which are absolutely toxic for kidney patients. And just when you find a clean, effective brand and start seeing real results, the company changes the formula to save money. Suddenly, your miracle supplement stops working. That's exactly why my team and I decided to create something better, a pure, tested, and stable formulation you can trust. Because kidney patients deserve more than empty promises. You deserve results that last. So, what's my solution? Well, don't tell anyone yet but I've been quietly working on something completely different. An advanced astragalus formulation designed just for CKD patients. No magnesium stearate, no cheap fillers, no harmful additives. 100% natural, medical grade the way all kidney supplements should be. But here's the truth most astragalus supplements out there. They barely work. The raw powdered root absorbs about as well as, well, a brick. Even the so-called standard extracts don't fare much better. The problem is that only a tiny fraction of the real healing compound astragalicide forever makes it into your bloodstream. And that's a big deal, because astragalicide 4 is the magic inside astragalus. It's the active saponin responsible for slowing kidney fibrosis, reducing proteinuria, and protecting your kidneys. But if your body can't absorb it, you'll never see those benefits. That's exactly why my team and I are using Astragalicide 4 with Phytosome, a breakthrough delivery system that boosts absorption by up to five times. Translation Your kidneys finally get the good stuff instead of your toilet. And to take it even further, 
we're pairing it with MCT oil to maximize absorption and uptake. So for the very first time, CKD patients will have access to a bioavailability enhanced, kidney-safe astragalus supplement the kind of formula I've always wanted for my own patients. Think of it like this, a 2,000-year-old herbal remedy being brought kicking and screaming into modern medicine. We'll be launching this incredible formula in the coming weeks, so stay tuned if you want to be among the first to learn more. Now, let's talk about what you can do today starting with something simple but powerful, vitamin D. There's a reason it's often called the kidney vitamin. Your kidneys are the organs responsible for activating vitamin D, turning it into the form your body can actually use. But here's the problem studies show that up to 84.7% of kidney disease patients are deficient in this vitamin. That's basically everyone, except maybe that one stage 3A guy who spends all winter tanning in Florida. And low vitamin D levels? They're directly linked to higher proteinuria. That's why supplementing can make such a fast difference. In fact, a recent placebo-controlled trial found that kidney patients who took just 2 micrograms of paracalcitol saw their proteinuria drop by a huge 34% in a short time. But and this is so important never start megadosing vitamin D without checking your blood levels first. Too little is bad, yes, but too much? That's like handing your kidneys a job application at a salmon factory total overload. Now, remember how I mentioned breakfast in the intro? Let's talk about that in just a moment what to eat and what to avoid if your goal is lowering proteinuria. But first, there's one supplement I believe every single kidney patient should be taking, high-dose omega-3s. Omega-3 fatty acids are essential nutrients and no, essential doesn't mean optional but cute. It literally means your body can't make them on its own. Without enough, your cells start to act up, and your kidneys end up paying the price. Sure, you can get some omega-3s from chia seeds, walnuts, or flax seeds but here's the catch, those plant sources contain ALA, a form your body has to convert into EPA and DHA to actually use. In that conversion process, it's about as efficient as a government office on a Friday afternoon. So yes omega-3 supplementation isn't a luxury, it's a must. Because when you're low in any essential nutrient, symptoms show up, and some of those symptoms can quietly make your kidney health worse. Now, you might be wondering, what does omega-3 have to do with proteinuria? Well, the science is clear. Research shows that omega-3 supplementation is linked to a significantly lower risk of end-stage renal disease and can slow the progression of CKD. Even more impressive a meta-analysis of 10 randomized controlled trials, published in PLOS1, found that omega-3 significantly improved protein levels in people with type 2 diabetes. So yes, these fatty acids can make a real difference. And from my own experience, it's not just diabetic patients who benefit, almost everyone with kidney disease does. That's why I've been recommending a high dose of omega-3s to nearly all my patients for years now and I'm not stopping anytime soon. Why the higher dose? Because unlike many supplements, the kidney-protecting power of omega-3s seems to be dose-dependent meaning, the more you take, within reason, the greater the benefits. And the best part? Side effects are minimal, even at higher doses. Here's a little secret most people don't know. The FDA recently increased what they consider the safe daily intake of omega-3s from 3,000 mg to 5,000 mg. That's a big jump and kind of funny when you realize most products are so underdosed. You'd have to take half the bottle to get there. Now, I always tell my patients to keep supplements simple less is more. But omega-3s? They belong on your short list of non-negotiables. Just one reminder, 
While moderate doses are perfectly safe, if you're going higher, always do it with your healthcare provider's guidance. Your kidneys and your future self will thank you for it. All right, my friends, let's get into what I consider the single most effective way to lower proteinuria your diet. Now, when most people hear renal diet, the first thing that comes to mind is cutting protein. Not maybe eat one less burger this week. I mean really cutting it down because here's the thing, you can literally cut your proteinuria in half just by reducing your protein intake. And that's not an opinion that's a proven fact. Study after study shows that lowering protein intake can reduce proteinuria by 20% to 50%. So, if you thought my thumbnail was clickbait, science officially says otherwise. But I promise, this isn't going to turn into another boring renal diet lecture. Instead, let's talk about the foods that actually help your kidneys and a few that quietly hurt them. Let's start with one of my favorites, olive oil. Specifically, extra virgin olive oil. This Mediterranean classic does wonders it reduces oxidative stress, helps lower proteinuria, and gives your kidneys a little vacation to Santorini. Now, there's a catch olive oil is basically liquid calories. Tons of calories, zero protein, which makes it perfect if you need to maintain your weight. Go ahead and drizzle it generously. But if you're trying to lose weight? Go easy. I usually tell my patients who need to slim down to keep added fats to an absolute minimum until they're back in shape. Next up soy foods. When CKD patients replace animal protein with minimally processed soy, studies show they can lower both creatinine and proteinuria levels. Pretty impressive, right? But in this is important soy is still high in protein. So if you're in the advanced stages of CKD, stage 3B or beyond, cutting overall protein intake will make a much bigger difference. In other words, soy can help but only if it fits your personalized diet plan. Now, here's the real surprise. There's a food that actually works even better than soy for reducing proteinuria. Ready? Flaxseed. Yes, the humble flaxseed beats soy at its own game. In a recent study, researchers found that adding flaxseed meal reduced proteinuria more effectively than soy protein. I'm not kidding flaxseed is the underdog that quietly becomes the MVP. So, here's what I tell everyone, add exactly 20 grams of ground flaxseed to your morning oats every day. It's cheap, it's easy, and it works. Unless you're allergic, there's really no reason not to. Now let's talk about another superstar garlic. Garlic is a true miracle of nature. It helps lower blood pressure, improves circulation, reduces cholesterol, and even supports blood sugar control. It's like that coworker who does everyone's job better and still manages to hum while doing it. And yes, garlic can also help with proteinuria. Studies show it offers kidney protective effects through its antioxidant and vasodilating properties. You can find good garlic supplements on the market. One brand I often recommend is Chaotic. But honestly, nothing beats the real thing. Supplements are convenient, but they're weaker and far more expensive. If you can, just mince 5 to 10 cloves of garlic once a week. Keep them in the fridge they'll stay fresh and ready to use anytime. Your kidneys will thank you. Now that we've talked about what to add, let's shine a light on two minerals that can quietly wreck your kidneys. The first culprit, phosphorus. Phosphorus is probably the only thing in your diet worse than protein. And while protein and phosphorus often come packaged together, phosphorus doesn't even need protein to cause damage it can harm your kidneys all on its own. In fact, research shows that cutting phosphorus can significantly lower proteinuria levels. So, do your best to remove as much phosphorus as possible but remember this, 
We're talking about animal-based and additive phosphorus, not the kind found naturally in plants. The phosphorus in quinoa or amaranth? Don't worry about it. Your kidneys don't mind those. All right, friends, the next mineral you absolutely need to start cutting back on is sodium. Let's talk about it. Because honestly, this topic makes my blood pressure rise and not because of salt itself, but because of the misinformation floating around online. Every week, there's a new health guru on YouTube trying to convince you that sodium is good for you that you should salt to taste and let your body decide. Sounds nice, right? Comforting, even. But it's dangerously wrong. I recently came across one of these videos, and I have to admit, it made my jaw drop. The person literally said, there's no research showing that an adequate salt diet harms your kidneys. And by adequate, he means get this just salt your food to taste. So basically, eat all the salt you want, and hope your heart doesn't file for early retirement. Here's the problem this kind of advice is not just misleading, it's harmful. It gives people a false sense of safety, especially those living with CKD. Because the truth is simple and backed by thousands of studies, too much sodium directly worsens kidney disease. Science is crystal clear. When you have CKD, your kidneys lose their ability to remove sodium properly. The extra sodium builds up, your blood pressure rises, and your blood pressure medications stop working. And once that happens, your kidneys start deteriorating even faster. This is an opinion it's proven fact. Study after study has shown that reducing sodium intake lowers proteinuria and slows kidney disease progression. One major clinical trial involving 436 CKD patients found a huge drop in proteinuria simply by cutting down on salt. So when you hear someone online saying, there's no research that shows salt harms your kidneys, what they're really saying is, I don't care about your kidneys I care about views and clicks. And that's why I'm here because your life is worth more than someone's ad revenue. The truth is this. Less salt equals less proteinuria. Less salt equals slower kidney damage. Less salt equals a longer, healthier life. It's not easy to change your habits, I get that. But it's worth it. You can either make the small daily effort now, or face much harder choices later. So take control of your sodium. Don't let your taste buds be your guide, let your health be. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. God bless you, take care of yourself. I'll see you in the next one.